welcome to another Hi. episode of She Hates Whiskey. My name is David and I love whiskey. My name's Meredith and I hate whiskey, but I love him. Yeah, so on She Hates Whiskey, we have someone who doesn't like whiskey and it's someone me. who does. I learning about, learning to like, trying new things. And having a lot of fun. Having a lot of fun along the way, indeed. So fun. Um, so we're doing another review episode. Um, so I opened this actually for an episode we did a little bit back ago where we um, did the... Uh, oh. uh, S different things to smell uh, to see if we could tr kind of train pulling oh, out some notes. Oh, this is a really cool one. A really cool yeah. one. Oh, yes, yes. So this uh, is Glendronic 12. Um, this is a Highland whiskey, and but it is a very sherry influence. So this is aged in uh, Pedro Jimenez and uh, Oloroso sherry casks. I didn't understand why you just said that. <clears throat> They're sp Spanish uh, sherry. Olé. Yes, um, and uh, so Meredith has not traditionally liked sherried whiskey. I don't whiskeys. think I've ever had a sherried whiskey that I enjoyed. Uh, you didn't mind the uh, Bunahaven 12, uh, which is slightly sherried. Okay. Um, anyway, but um, so she had she really dislikes the McAllen 12 <laughs> Double Oak that I have. Oh yeah. She really dislikes yeah. it. That's now this is really in the same family of flavor profiles. However, to me, the Glendronic 12 is a little more subdued, a little more, uh, well, a little less aggressive than the McAllen. Now, when we were smelling this uh, in our last, in that episode, yeah. we had the great experience of having some raisins, uh, which Sherry to me really pulls out, and Meredith was able to say, oh yeah, and Sherry. Ginger. I'm getting to oh, that, sorry. yeah. So, wow, yeah, get really get that. And then ginger was something that they suggest as notes in this, and she was like, oh, I get the ginger too. Yeah. She put the two together and felt like it was um, almost like smell. smelling Glendronic. Yeah, it was pretty cool. You can go back and watch it. Yeah, so, I don't know exactly what the difference is, but this has a less, a little less of the saccharin, uh, dried fruitiness of the Macallan. Okay. It's a little more oaky and smooth. Oaky goodness. A little more mellow. Mellow. But it's really delicious, delectable I'm so smelling. I'm glad you like it. I feel like I'm not going to feel the same way as you. Oof, yeah, that's really nice. I prefer this to the Macallan Double Oak. It's oh, good. less... It's just, a, it's a little more pleasant. It's a little, oh. she doesn't like it. <laughs> she hates whiskey. She hates whiskey. It's the name of the show. If you didn't know that, then you know now. If you're disappointed you get, that you get I'm the not raisins? enjoying whiskey, we did warn you. Yes. Do you get the raisins? Yes, I do. Do you get any of the ginger? No, I do not. No? No. What about uh, vanilla? Be like you. It's my David impression. I don't make that much noise when I breathe in. <laughs> oh, God, you, know, <laughs> you know what that's like when you have a stuffy nose and you have the thing that you squirt up your nose when you're like. <sighs> you could also do that with whiskey. Clears oh, apparently. Your, it smell. It it actually smells like the nose spray. Oh, interesting. I don't think I, I don't, I'm terrified does that she thinks up my nose, um, so. Does it nose spray? It does not say that. No, it says it uh, really sweet like creamy vanilla no. on the nose no. with hints of ginger, on no. fruits. No spray. Okay. All right, well, why don't you give it a taste? Oh, actually, we'll see. Oh, you know, drive by. She's got all of her different techniques. <laughs> <laughs> this one's like pushing. It's a push sniff. Push sniff, okay. Which I'm enjoying. I like the push sniff. She likes the push sniff. I'm getting like a coffee-ish. Coffee, okay. Yeah, you'll have to try it with a push sniff. All right, I'll try it. Try with a push, push sniff at home. See how it goes for you. I winked at them. She's gonna try it. We'll see how much she eats it. It's not awful. Not awful. The um, taste is not as aggressive as some others from the Highlands that mm. we've tried. Yes. It's not as aggressive. What about compared to that one time when you drank the Macallan? Very different. This one is much easier to drink yes. than the Macallan, which... How should I tell him? Sure. Frankly, when I drank the Macallan, David said, Do you get any notes? Any of the blah, blah, blah notes? Blah, blah, blah. And I said, I have to be honest with you, David. The only note I get is vomit. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was all she could get. That's all I could get for, for the it. taste. From the from taste. taste on the nose, you had some and the different nose, things. I th- yeah, but the taste, I was like, there is only one thing. That did you try a push snap? A, a push a push snap. <gasps> Look how cute you are, push snapping. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I definitely get the vanilla. On the push and I get snap? a little just ju- no. I, the push <laughs> sniff is distracting for me. <laughs> I just dive in. <laughs> I like the push <clears throat> sniff. But yeah, no, I get I get the hints of ginger. Do it's you, that little bit of a spicy do you get spiciness on the nose. Maybe. Yeah. I think it's the oakiness. Maybe. Yeah. It smells good. It smells good. It smells like maybe it's just like it smells like warm and. I think it that smells this warm. is. Um, so for me, <laughs> the, in the class so of like heavily sherried whiskeys, this is my favorite that I've had. This is not, it's not that from someone who does not like sherry whiskey because yeah. they taste like vomit. This one, oh. um, that specific one did. Yeah. So, um. um this one is better. It's so this, better. this could yeah. be a really good recommendation for someone who hasn't really had any sherry yeah, yeah. whiskeys. As, as a, a pr- beginner, as a non-whiskey drinker, um, whiskey a hater, um, if you have a friend trying to get into whiskey and they're like, what's this sherry thing? Like, what's that all about? Mm. This would be a good one. Or it's not too aggressive. Right. Or it could be good for someone who's tried the Macallan and likes it. Yeah. And you want something to impress them with something yeah. that is maybe a little less known. I mean, yeah. Macallan is a huge brand that people really recognize. But I think Glendronic, in terms of quality yeah. um, uh, in the 12 here, I think is right up and there. And just don't be scared away by the smell. Because it's, <laughs> it just smells really strong. Like the nose spray. But sure. then the taste is, is um, kind of nice. Mm. Kind of. Kind of nice. You can yeah. drink it. You can. Yeah, yeah. It. I could, I could drink it and not embarrass you in public. Good. So I, yeah, I but would I definitely would still do the push sniff. I this this is uh, high on my list at the moment of regular stocking of a, a heavily heavily shared yeah. whiskey for sure. Um, and and you can tolerate tolerate yeah, it. So I can tolerate it. A definite buy for me and okay. a tolerate from her. Yeah. That's a good um, rating system we we're coming up yeah. with here. Yeah, that's a great. Uh, so what do you guys think of Glendronic 12? Have you had it? How does it compare to yeah. other sherried whiskeys you've had? And what do you think of the push sniff? What do you think of the push sniff? Let us know yeah, down below. let us know. Follow us on Instagram, like, share, Someday subscribe. Someday we'll post again on Instagram. Someday we'll post again. Oops. Um, <laughs> she's mostly in charge, so you can yeah. complain to her about it. Hi. But until next week, continue enjoying your whiskey. Or don't, or kind of do. Yeah, and we'll see you then. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye.